while rail fanning deep in the Appalachian Mountains. I was looking at Google Maps, uh, trying to better understand the layout of several branch lines. Uh, these lines were used to bring out coal and other materials to the main line. Well, at the end of one of these lines, I noticed what appeared to be an abandoned locomotive. I checked the historical timeline on Google Earth and discovered this locomotive has said abandoned for about 15 years. I was curious to see if it was still there and in one piece, so I decided to check it out for myself. When I pulled up to the area I identified on the maps, I was really excited to see the locomotive was still there. I was even more excited to see that it was a 1940s Alco S2 locomotive, almost 80 years old. According to this builder's plate, it was rebuilt by GE in 1977 for the historic Clinchfield Coal Company. It later became part of CSX. One of the things that makes this locomotive interesting uh, is that it was retrofitted with a remote controlled unit, allowing an operator to do yard work from one central location. Now, I would later find out from a retired chip mill worker, uh, the operator would often control this particular unit on top of this old tipple. It provided a clear and unobstructed view of the entire yard and its operations. In these decades old photos, you can actually see the switcher in action, moving cars filled with wood chips in the yard. After taking a look around the outside of the old locomotive, I decided to climb on board for a closer look. And despite some dust, leaves, and a few spiders, the inside looked really great, well, except for a lone cracked window. Even the remote controlled unit looked to be in good condition. And next, I decided to have a look at the engine. Originally, these Alco S2 locomotives packed up to 1,000 horsepower, uh, but after its rebuild in 77, a smaller, less expensive 335 horsepower Caterpillar engine was installed. And though it had a serious drop in horsepower, it would have been plenty enough power for this type of yard work. And lastly, I decided to climb on top to have a bird's eye view. In the distance, you can see the old tipple, which used to be the heart of this operation.